Hello everyone. We're gonna make a uh, carnitas today. This is a pork shoulder, also known as a, a pork butt. Has nothing to do with the butt of the pork though. So I bought this at Costco. This is uh, 15.66 pounds. It's uh, it's two of them. I'm gonna open it up. Just use one, and uh, we'll work with this. Let me wash it up, and I'll we'll continue this. So here it is, washed up. Pat it down with a paper towel. We're not gonna remove any of the fat. We want this nice fat cat up. I am gonna slice it diagonally this way and then again. Uh, put some olive oil on it and then add my rub on it. So let's go ahead and make my rub right now. Okay, here we got these ingredients. We have black pepper, we have salt, we have garlic powder, ground cumin, onion powder, and oregano. As you can see, I added an orange there. I forgot about the orange on the list. You can use whatever you want in your recipe. I will sh post the link to the website where I got this recipe from. The dry rub is ready, it's mixed together. I'm gonna put some olive oil on the pork, then sprinkle some dry rub, and then at the end, I'm gonna put some uh, orange juice. So here it is, I oiled both sides, and I also put the rub on the both sides. Oh, and let's not forget to squeeze some orange on it. So this is ready to go on the grill. We're gonna use a method that I saw on the Barbecue Pit Boys website. We're gonna use a kettle grill, and I'm gonna use this metal rack. I want the pork to sit not directly <clears throat> onto this uh, pan here because the temperatures are gonna rise a lot here, and as the meat sits directly onto this metal, it's going to uh, cook it a little bit faster on the underside, so I'm gonna keep it on top here. Um, and I'm gonna use this baster too in between, like about every 30 minutes or, yeah, every 30 minutes to an hour. And uh, I'll grab some of the juices and I'll baste it. So the barbecue pit boys put some onion underneath the rack where they put their pork. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I will also put a link to that video in the description of this video. All right, this is ready to grill. Let me go fire up that grill so we can put it in there. So my kettle grill has reached 400 degrees. It's ready. I'm gonna use a two zone method. Charcoal one side, meat on the other side. I'm gonna add some water to the pan. You want to make sure that your grill is in a, on a level surface, otherwise <clears throat> this water is, <laughs> or you're, you're going to get more uh, heat on one side of that pan than the other. This is definitely, <clears throat> this is definitely not a low and slow method. <laughs> um, the temperatures are going to go up, you know, we're talking like between 400, 450 degrees. And uh, I'll leave it right here and I'll baste it every 30 minutes and uh, pull it off the grill once the internal temperature hits 190 degrees. Okay, we're 30 minutes into this. Let's take a look at the water level and also baste it a little bit. Looks real good. Like the pit boys say, real good. Now we're into this cook. Let's open it up. Let's see how much water is in there and let's baste it up. So we are one hour and 30 minutes into this. Let's take a look what it looks like. Looks beautiful. What I might do is turn it around. It's, there's a lot of the heat's coming this way because the vent is on this side, so the heat transfer is going in this way. So this side gets 
more heat than this side. So I will turn it around right now. We are now two hours into this and I've noticed that the temperature has dropped from uh, four, a little over 400 degrees to 350. So that means that <clears throat> I'm gonna have to uh, start lighting up another charcoal chimney, maybe like half a chimney, so I can add more coals to this. Beautiful day. You can hear the birds singing. They're also happy about this pork. Just to give you an idea, we're now at 142 degrees, two hours into this cook. So we are about three hours into this cook. At two hours and 30 minutes, I had to add some more charcoal so that brought down the temperatures a bit. And um, so that's why it's probably like around two hours and 45 minutes of actual consistent heat but yeah let's look at what it, what we have here <coughs> looks good oh, I could smell it as soon as I came out of the, the back door of my house it smells fucking delicious sorry for the profanity <sighs> So at three hours into this, we are at about 168 degrees. Here we are at three hours and 30 minutes. Let's take a look. I'm gonna baste it a little bit. Woo! Ah, I messed up right there. Oh yeah. Come on. It's 177. I think in uh, another 45 minutes, we should reach 190 and that should be done. Here we are, four hours into this cook. Let's take a look. Says 180, 181. Another 30 minutes, and we are done. So I'm gonna set my timer for 30 minutes, and then I'm just pull everything off. So here we are with the finished product. It took us just a little over five hours. I got a lot of afterthoughts. We'll talk about it after. Let me pull this off the grill and um, I'm gonna wrap it in foil and let it sit for a little bit before I start cutting it up. A couple of thoughts here. So if I had to do this all over again, <clears throat> the second time that I added charcoal, instead of adding half the chimney, I would have added a full chimney. The other thing is that there are times that I think that like in the transition of adding more charcoal, it actually brought down the temperatures and, and that increases your cook time. I'm gonna have the honors of cutting into this so I can show you just how, how uh, soft, whew, moist, oh my goodness. Praise the Lord. Ugh. Check that out. This thing is, Tender, juicy. Oh, I can just grab a tortilla right now. <laughs> and just grab a slab. So there you have it. This is my version of carnitas tacos. I, it, it, when you soften this uh, meat up, cook it to 180 on the kettle grill, it is absolutely tender and delicious and it, it maintains juicy. I really dislike when I bite into a carnitas tacos and it's lacking uh, some of its fatty tissue and juices. 
All right, here we go. It's time to eat. <laughs> Just added some guac to it. Love this stuff. And uh, I'm tired. And uh, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>